Hi guys, it is Belinda and it is still August the um, 6th and this is like number 4 and I just am feeling kind of alone right now. Um, I'm feeling that I guess I'm not sure if it's head hunger or not but I know it's emotional because I got into a huge argument with my fiance this evening before he left to go to school and you know the stress of living here with my parents which they're great but us being in one this one room here you know it's really getting old and we're not gonna be able to get out of here until tax time which is in about six or seven months and even then it might take us a couple weeks or longer to find a place but um, I really 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 want to eat right now and I don't even care if it's healthy or not healthy and, and i am been fighting the urge since like 6 o'clock so for the last 4 hours I've been I, I guess it's head hunger I don't know or maybe just emotional eating I, I, just, I don't know you know you know I'm still I'm just struggling with a lot of stuff right now you know I feel like I'm not doing enough Agitated. <laughs> Very agitated. Um, I really don't know what else to say because I'm just agitated and I am hungry. I, I don't get real, real hungry during the day, but at night time I really get hungry. Or it could be just the head hunger. I mean, how do you know the difference? I mean, really. Is it really me being hungry, or is my mind just thinking I'm hungry and my body's like, well, I don't need anything? I can't tell the difference, y'all. I'm, I'm, sometimes I just feel completely lost. You know, and this argument with him tonight just didn't... Just didn't make it any better, and the argument was about, you know, he's supposed to go to school tonight, and he didn't want to go. He said he wasn't feeling good. You know, maybe he wasn't, but you know, he's been going to this program for almost three and a half years, and all I've ever heard is him complaining and bitching and moaning and gropping and complaining about having to go to school. You know, and like I said, we're in this one room here, just me and him together. And you know, I'm out there in the rest of the house doing laundry, um, cooking dinner, packing his lunch, uh, paying, you know, calling, making bill arrangements and doing all that stuff and I've even been taking out trash the last couple of weeks. You know, I mean, all he has to do is go to work and go to school. And he only goes to school part-time, he only works part-time. Which, don't get me wrong, I know he's a hard worker and he, you know, whatever. But, this one room with me and him, I like to have some time to myself. You know, I have my scrap room out there, but I like to come in here, in my bedroom, with him. This is our bedroom together. You know, he gets to stay in here by himself, a lot. He doesn't think so, and he won't say so. But he does. You know, because I'm out there talking to my mom, and my sister comes over and visits, or my friends, or what have you. You know? So it's... A, like a pressure cooker, you know, I t and today I just, when he said he didn't want to go to school, I just snapped, you know, and now he's home now, and I'm not even finished, finished with this video, so I can hear my uh, explorer out there pulling up, he drives my car to school and, and to work, you know, I only get to drive my car when I need to, it's usually basically his car, I'm just agitated I guess, because I love him to death. This one room, me and him, has got to go. And I don't know how he's going to act when he comes in here, so I hope it doesn't get worse. I really don't, because I'm going to go eat. Anyway, that was a door slamming. He's coming, and I want to see how his attitude is. And I'll talk to you guys later, and I love you all. Thank you for your support. I love you very much. God bless.